Shingler with the restart. Beautifully retained there by Wood and then it's handed on to Dordia. Laid back, Robson has it. Dordia drives it forward. Had support coming in from Andrew Hazel. Making his 172nd appearance for Gloucester as the ball is then returned to Burns and he Kicks it long to halfway, but not into touch. And Topsy Ojo, Jonathan Joseph and company are waiting. Here is Jonathan Joseph. Can be explosive from this sort of position. It was not a great pass back inside to Tagithakibau. However, didn't go forward. No, Leary has it on the edge of the 22. Shingler again. Back inside and a bit of a break here. Fisher's away. Fisher, the number eight, has support. He's unable to just lay it off in time, but now retains it and dives over the line. And it is a try for replacement, Alika. Irish celebrate, Gloucester fans. Look on disappointed. We have seen some brilliant back row play from both number eights. Either side of half time. Ben Morgan scoring a try for Gloucester to give them the lead. But this one being scored by Aulika, thanks to this brilliant run from John Fisher, means that it's all square. Superb support play there from Anthony Watson. He came on to replace Tom Homer just before half time, and then it was the other replacement diving over. Irish's second try of the afternoon and we are all square at 19 points apiece with the conversion still to come. Shingler is on target. The home fans in good voice as Irish retake the lead. 21 points to 19 for the home side now. 